the king of the north! I am the dragon's daughter. Hello, my sweet summer children. I'm back with some juice to get you through the long night. Each night before sleep, she murmured her prayer into her pillow. Sir Gregor, it went. Dunson, Wrath the Sweetling, Sir Illin, Sir Marin, Queen Cersei. She would have whispered the names of the phrase of the crossing, too, if she had known them. One day I'll know, she told herself and I'll kill them all. In A Feast for Crows, Arya says she will kill all the Freys of the Crossing. She's already killed Walder Frey after serving him two of his sons, Black Walder and Lothar, in Frey Pies. But I do not think she is done with her work at the Twins. David Bradley, the actor that plays Walder Frey, will appear in season seven, but we know he's dead. We saw Arya kill him. So Arya must have to wear his face. I think we get confused as to what Arya's abilities actually are because we don't have too much information about her abilities. I will be doing a whole in-depth video on the Faceless Men, Arya, and Bravos, so be on the lookout for that. There are many questions when it comes to what Arya can do. Does wearing a face give you the same hands and body as the face, the same voice, the same hair? The faces look like masks of skin from forehead to chin only, but if Arya was to wear the face of a seven foot mountain Sir Gregor, would the body match? I think yes. When you wear a face, you take on the whole persona and body as the host face you are wearing, almost like warging. When Arya meets the waif at the House of Black and White, she is described as a child, a little girl with big eyes and a hollow face. But we learn later from the kindly man that the waif is really over 30 years old. So in order for the waif to still look like a child, when you wear a face, something must also happen to your body. When Arya first tries on the face, she feels the emotions of the person that the face belongs to. She feels the girl's pain and some of her life experiences, and she also experiences some of the girl's memories. It's almost like when Bran wargs into a skin, he can sense the person is still there even if they're dead. When Arya takes off her face from killing Walder Frey, her hair and her voice change instantly. They weren't easy to carve, especially Black Walder. My name is Arya Stark. I want you to know that. The last thing you're ever going to see is a Stark smiling down at you as you die. My prediction for season seven with Arya is that she will wear Walder Frey's face and with his face, she will exterminate the whole fucking pack of the Freys, leaving only Roslyn Frey and Edmure Tully's son as heir to the Twin Towers of Tully. Edmure Tully, Arya's uncle, her mother's brother, is in a cell at the Twins he has a son that he conceived on his wedding night with his wife, Rosalind Frey, the night of the Red Wedding. Arya will probably free him. She could have very well have read Walder Frey's lips when he was talking to Jamie, or she could have been told by a Lannister soldier she was flirting with, or she could have just overheard. She's had extensive training in using her senses and watching and learning things. As a faceless man, Arya should not be able to leave this feast at the Twins without knowing three things that she didn't know before. And Edmure being back in the cell will be one of them. Arya will wear the face of Walder Frey and have a feast. And at the feast, she will have a toast. And in that cup will be the Strangler. The Strangler is the poison that killed Joffrey. It is also one of the poisons that the Faceless Men are trained in and know how to use. With Edmure Tully free and taking back his position as Lord Paramount of the Trident, the North would have another ally in the Riverlands. Edmure would be not only the heir to Riverrun, but the Lord Regent of the Twins until his son comes of age. When she leaves the twins, I think she may wear another face just because it's safer to travel that way. We saw her travel the King's Road before and she was dressed as a boy, so maybe she would do the same or maybe she doesn't give a fuck because she's a badass trained assassin now and she would just stroll up the King's Road like what's good. 
but I do think it's possible that she might change up her face. So that ambitious bastard Littlefinger is currently Lord Paramount of the Riverlands. So when Arya brings word to Winterfell that Edmure is free and now back in his rightful position, that might ruffle some feathers on the Mockingbird. Now, a lot of people have said that Arya will kill Littlefinger on Sansa's orders, but I don't really, it doesn't really sit right with me. Sansa is from the north. He who passes the sentence must swing the sword. So if Arya kills Littlefinger, it will be because she wants to kill Littlefinger. Show Arya knows that Littlefinger was helping Tywin, helping the Lannisters plot against her brother and her mother, and he had a part to play in the destruction of House Stark. But then again, Littlefinger did recognize her and kind of not say anything, so maybe that's why his name never made it to her list. But the Ghost of High Heart gave us some prophecy about a maiden slaying a savage giant in a castle made of snow. The maiden is clearly Sansa because the exact vision before this was Sansa at the purple wedding with serpents in her hair and the serpents in her hair were the poison, the strangler that killed Joffrey because in the show they were in her necklace but in the books they were in a hairnet. The ghost of High Heart says that she dreamt of the same maiden again slaying a savage giant in a castle made of snow. The giant is Littlefinger. Littlefinger took the Mockingbird as his sigil, but the sigil of House Baelish is definitely the Titan of Bravos, which is a huge giant titan that stands at the entrance when you enter into Bravos. The castle made of snow is Winterfell, and the maiden that will slay him is Sansa. And Sansa will be the one to kill him because Sansa is a Stark of Winterfell, and he who passes the sentence must swing the sword. I think Littlefinger may be fed to the Weirwood in Winterfell, making Bran stronger. So what do you think? Will both Stark sisters catch some bodies this season or will Arya be carrying the load for both of them? In my opinion, this is Sansa's chance to prove that she is a Stark because everything she's done hasn't really been Starkish. So if she kills Littlefinger herself, if she passes this sentence and swings the damn sword, then she is a Stark. But until then, the jury is still out on that. Also, I wanted to tell you guys I will be doing a pre-Game of Thrones live stream on my good friend AU Pack Mule's channel on Friday, July 14th at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. So I would love it if my sweet summer squad would come through and ask me questions and just chill out and all that good stuff. I also had Sweet Summer Children t-shirts and Long Night Juice t-shirts designed that you can purchase if you would like. That link is in the description box. As always, thanks for watching. You guys have been so supportive, so kind, so nice, so inspiring, and I love you so much. Please give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe and hit that notification Shame. bell and join the sweet summer Shame. family. Okay, my Shame. sweet summer children. Have Shame. a good day.